Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy and welcome back to the Exalted Plains. Here we're gonna mark. I've already marked it as inactive and now it disappears, because of course. Because UI and shit, that's okay. We're giving the game a free pass today for being so goddamn beautiful. Uh, is this undead over here? Or is this the Freeman? This is the Freeman soldiers. Now they are significantly underleveled compared to me. Let's see how they hold up. Up. Fuck you, blocks. Thanks, Iron Bill. Keep off the ramparts. I wonder why. Let's find out. Keep off the ramparts, that soldier said, yeah. Oh, uh, the Inquisition have arrived. They will take the Dales and say it is the Herald of Andraste's right. There is so no such right. These lands should be yours. We you can't allow the Inquisition to gain a foothold. As Rolais, true defenders, you know what to do. Hmm. Gordrian. This might be, like, when they say yours, they might be just to their men. Rolais, true defenders. Interesting. I wonder what their jazz is. Rashvine? Hmm. How appropriate to my current condition. The burn has faded, by the way. But I'm never taking that girl home again. Stay off the ramparts. I mean, we can't get up there anyway just yet. A landmark over here. Memorials of the Second Exalted March, the Path of the Flame. You know, I feel like the history of this place is pretty important, so I might make an effort to read these on camera. Remember where Andraste's champions first set foot in the Exalted Plains, called Dith Dirth Dirth of Arin by the Elves. Halama Shiral's dark heart was conquered, but one last challenge came from the Elves, who would not submit to the Maker. They gathered upon the plain, our, champ our champions answered the call. Marching on Drasty's light on the path of flame, Lord Demetrius Aaron, Sister Amity, uh, Sir Brandis of blah blah blah. Oh, okay. Um. Right, cool. Did they die to the elves or something? It's kind of unspecific. I mean, there's a certain human statues over here. I think we're not going to see a respectful tribute to the elves in this area. I think what we're going to see instead is, um, glorious monuments to, to the Exalted March. How does modern Chantry Gores feel about the Exalted March? Tension with the elves are still bad. Also, holy burning building, Batman. Oh shit. Hello? Hello. Um. Yes, hi. You got two guys over there. And then you. We're really not gonna get anything done, are we? I'm gonna come up over here. Hey guys. I think I'm getting people. Can I push you off? In any way? Um... No. Instead I'll freeze you in place. Which I think we can all agree is fairly similar. Ring velvet, lovely. Marcus, stop climbing that tree! Well fuck you Viv, you're not my real mum. Aha. Uh -huh. We find the place, we don't need this anymore. I think that's somebody fighting an undead over there. Let's get them both. They're both badens. Maybe they're both badens. I can't target that second guy. Who is this? Hello. How can anyone stop these things? Could you hold that thought? Um. Everybody just attack that guy, and I'll speak to him. No, okay, there we go. <laughs> right, you were saying... I must tend to our fallen. Alright, what the hell's going on? What's happened here? We were trying to retake the ramparts from the dead. They rise here. Somewhere within these trenches. It started when those free men showed up. Mm. Strange lights. Like blue fire. It must be magic. But the free men are just deserters from the armies. How could they have managed this? And why? I don't know. Mm. 
Are you Imperial Army? Yes, Your Worship. I fight on the side of Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon, rightful Emperor of Olay. The cousin, huh? The peace talks in Halam Shiral mean an end to hostilities, don't they? We are no longer fighting each other, but the demons, the dead. It was easier when we fought just men. You can win against men. Yeah, surely though it's less, you know, weighing on your conscience. I should be going. Your opinion is different than mine. So if you're gonna fight for anything, better opinion than money. I mean, I fight for opinion all the time. Of course, I am fighting unambiguous bad dudes. I mean, they're northerners. Ugh. Hmm. I'm a beast of a crossbow over there. Taking a bit of a shortcut. Whoop. Dalish armor schematic, huh? Probably good for the rogues. Although I, I know what else do have some warriors. You know, Dragon Age 4 was announced. And now I've been a mage, a rogue, and a warrior. I wonder if it's time to play a non-human race. I've said this before, I like to play humans because it gives me a familiar footing from which to explore an unfamiliar environment such as a fantasy world. I feel like I know what it's like to be human. I can kind of work from there. Uh, but coming with... Um, I guess it's not in the area. Coming in as an elf or anything like that, I mean, the concepts are relatively simple and I'm not against other people playing that, obviously. I mean, why the hell would... Why the hell would I even... I think it's because I read the article, an article the other day about the sensitivity involved when playing another race. Like, an actual real-life race. Like, it's possible, but you gotta be careful, yo. Die! I will say, maybe not as careful as the article made out. <laughs> then again, what would I know? I'm just a white dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. Whoa, okay. I am joking, by the way. Like, I wound up agreeing with the article in the end, for the most part. I think playing elves and dwarves is largely fine, though. I think any member of a race, aside from perhaps an other kin, would agree with that. I believe you're kind of standing there, so is Cole. Although I will admit, Cole's holding up marginally better than he usually is, which is nice. Uh, we got Cole running around there and a couple of that, and where's the arcane horror? There he is over there. Okay, maybe I can get in there. I am almost... Ah. He's gone. He's buggered off. Okay. Ooh, I do like betting zombies that go down quickly. That's always fun. But geez, they're a little everywhere. Are we good? Holy crap. So yes, maybe in Dragon Age 4, like a, a Kunari or an Elf or a Dwarf. I mean, I don't know what options they're going to have. In Dragon Age 2, they only let you play as a human because it was intrinsic to the plot. Get up there, please. There we go. Arcane Horror Heart. Mmm. Yum, yum. I smell a research item. There we go. Gotta look at these trenches, man. So, we got Lay Rest, the Western Ramparts, Pits are Pelling Bodies, Interacting Spirits, and Causing Undead to Rise. Uh, protected by magical barriers, preventing anyone from reaching the dead to burn their remains. Once all the bodies are burned, a signal, yep, yep, and then this is up here. Oh, it's the same thing again. All right, so down here is probably a good place to go first. That could be fun. I can see myself playing an elf. I mean, like, even though it is a familiar... I could have sworn I saw somebody head behind here. Did you guys see that? That was creepy. All right, here we go. My dear, I think we found the pit that's sprouting the dead. Goodness me. How did that noble woman get here? This was no accident. Someone intended the dead to rise. There may be more of these pits. We'll have to find them. Yeah, let's grab everybody a health potion. Uh, Vivian, you too. Looking sharp, by the way. It'd been well since we took you out anywhere. Are those guys coming back to kill me? No, they're hunting a uh, Hala from the looks of it. See? I know Dragon Age. I may have just got that race wrong, but at least I knew the word Hala. Yeah, I'm ready. I could play a dwarf. I know how to play an elf. You just have to 
feel oppressed a little bit and distrust humans because they enslaved your race slash killed your people. Or a dwarf, you just basically have to be an asshole. But there's obviously, like, room to challenge the stereotype, and that could be interesting as well. An elf who's been around people for so long that they're actually okay with them, or a dwarf who uh, hates the kind of political turmoil that happened, maybe one from Kelsha Rock, for example, and has other things. Like, there's different personalities in there, otherwise you're just stereotyping. So that could be an interesting dichotomy to explore in a future game. We'll see. To my loved ones, if this letter reaches you, know that I died, and died well, in service of the noble Grand Duke. I did not run like others did when the battle grew too much. I did not lose faith in the Maker. I was courageous till the end. Faith in the Maker. Faith that the cousin should be on the throne, and not the queen. We know, ah, we know nothing about this conflict to save from the fact that, ah. What's up here? I have faith in my guys. Well, that's an arcane horror. Maybe I have less faith in my guys. I think I hit a bit of scenery there. Oh, just walk past me, why don't you? No, don't mind me. Okay, there he goes. Ha, <laughs> I got frozen at the right time. Okay, good. Where did he go? Where did he go? Where did he go? Whoop! Oh, fuck. Hang on, guys! <laughs> what was I saying? Ah, the battle still rages in the trenches. Well... I think I seen about everything when I see a black and wolf fly with the wind. When I see an NPC fly. Sorry, I could not resist. Um, right, okay, we're good here, right? Yeah, a bit of loot around. We'll do that first, then I see that barrier over there. Fade touch ring velvet, all this masterwork shit is very much appreciated. I honestly forget what I was talking about before all that battle just happened. Um, I think I'd moved on. Oh yes, no, I was talking about like the claim to the power, like why? Uh, first of all, Vivian, what have I given you these days? Uh, that's lightning, unfortunately. Still, it's, it's doing damage. Thanks, my dear. Well, the signaling horn, so this place should be clear now, right? Where's the signaling horn? Tama, how will I follow the Kyun? Her hands, strong but gentle. Ruffle stubs where the horns will be. You are strong and your mind is sharp. You will solve problems others cannot. She smiles, but sadly. Looks like my old Tamasrin was wrong. Bet she's pissed one of her kids when Talvashoth. Agents with hushed tones, eyes stinging, forms to fill out, course corrections, reduce risk of similar losses. I remember the little boy, too wise, eager to help. Words break in small secret spaces. He got away. He got away. How could you know that? You've never even met her. Your hurt touches hers. Well, that's... Uh, creepy, <laughs> but... Thanks. There you go. Cole's particular brand of healing will affect some people better than others. Interesting coming from Iron Bull as well, considering that, um, you know, Kunari not traditionally comfortable with uh, magic too much. But then again, I think one of his, uh, his chargers is a mage. So is it down here? Ah, here we go. Hoot hoot. No! Oh! <laughs> Breathe gently there, Marcus. Okay, that's hopefully training up there. Yes, I recognize that animation. Really? Well, that's good. Um, ah, I see something up there, including a flag to interact with. May I lay a claim? Under protection of the Inquisition. Hey, so. Okie dokie. Can I maybe get this loot? <laughs> I hope I haven't just picked a side in a war. I will say that much. 
Alright, so where am I now? So return to what's his face, right? Return to. Hmm. What about this? Oh, the favorites, just around the corner. You got several places to go. Um. At once. What's just north of me here? Is it just another landmark? I think so, we don't need that. Uh, maybe you can grab your favorites though, Viv. Hmm. No, maybe instead we go and complete this. We're on a roll with it now. Yes, as I was saying, the claim to the throne, Gaspard versus the current queen. I mean, monarchy... Monarchy lives off that divine rule shit. But it's kind of just politicians playing with people's faiths for their own benefit. I mean, I appreciate that. Nice. I appreciate that, you know, I call myself the Herald of Andraste, so there is a certain amount of hypocrisy in there, and I continue to call myself the Herald of Andraste, demon, 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 even when I myself am not so convinced of the truth. I mean, I am. Mother Giselle taught me around. Like, I, I know the truth. I know the truth in my brain, and my heart is just starting to feel it, but, you know, it'll take some time. It'll take some time for that wound to heal. I can't believe they retook the ramparts. Maybe if we got word to the marshal. But Fort Reverson surrounded by undead and locked down. Okay. What's happened here? It started when those free men showed up. Yeah, okay. Range lights. Later. And blue fire. Alright, okay, another side, another story. So this'll be now the undead trouble's been dealt with at the Western Ramparts, we went to meet with Gaspar's Marshal, who is holding Fort Revishan, Revistan in the name of the Usurper. Okay. So, it's not another site, it's the same bloody site. Where? No. Over there. Yeah, I don't want to have that active. Oh, balls. Oh, I'll do. Jump to map. So, that's over there to the east. We got some stuff over here, right in front of us. Yeah, I don't think there's much over there. The landmark that we missed. That'll be alright. Let's just carry on over this way. Oh, what is the Whoa! Look at the dog statue up there. That is something else. We're not even in Ferelden. What is that? And I guess we made it here first. What's this mission? And what is this? What is this? A Freeman so it's a Freeman soldier. Can't reach. Can reach now. You guys got this? That frontal block thing is very damaging. I need to pay attention to whether that drains my um, arcane energy. So I gotta be careful about that. Who's there? Right guard. I'll be gone by the time you get back. Heading to Liddy's. Join me as soon as you can. I've left some supplies in the hollow of the old tree. The one near the ruin. It should be enough to pay someone to take you to the city. Be safe. Father in an old burned down hut. Who burned it, I wonder? Plenty of guilty parties potentially around. Uh, looks like there is a path this way to where I want to go. This question mark, wherever it is. Ugh. Looks like it might be a landmark. Get to the top of there. Oh, that's fine. Don't know what this is used for yet, but... I have been given advice recently in the comments to upgrade potions. That is one thing which is a little, um... That I'm not, like, super interested in is sort of the upgrading potions and stuff like that. Upgrading equipment's all very well and good, but I so rarely use the specific potions like regen and stuff like that. There's that, uh, there's that zero punctuation episode that talks about the gamer pheno phenomenon, but I might use it later. <sighs> Come on, boyo. There you go. And that's totally happening with me, like saving Larian potions, and in fairness, I do use them on occasion. But I think I'm still trapped in that mindset. Oh, sweet! of that, uh, you know, back when I didn't have many materials to build with. Now when I actually go to craft potions, I might find it a lot more forgiving. Oh my god, there's six of the bastards. Let's find him. And find him quickly. There's another one. Oh. We're halfway. There. There. Oh, 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 whoop. Oh, there's another one. There's breaking news, apparently. According to my phone. I will look at that after the episode is over, thank you very much. Where could it be? 
These dogs over here as well. It must be an Exalted Plains thing. Alright, I appear to have spotted the fifth one somewhere. But I don't know where. In a tree? No? Maybe up here in the rocks? Scanning carefully. Ah, there we go. Ta-da! Righteous. Cole ever gonna come out of stealth, I wonder? Mmm. The half-buried wall of the arch is made for a unique camping spot. My guide informs me that it was once part of an ancient elven arena, though nothing in the histories I read mentioned anything of the sort on the plains. He also insists insisted on clambering up to the top of the blasted ruins after swearing he had seen a royal elfert plant growing out of a crevice. Royal elfert, you say? Oh, well, my scanny scan isn't detecting it. We'll assume he's lying, just as this was probably not an ancient elven arena, although this area sort of looks like it might have been once something like that. There's no way this place is so old to have had, like, rocks and shit growing over it. Alright, where am I going next? We've got a couple minutes left in here. Well, I can gather some shards. I might do that. Slide down. Oh hell, just be careful. Ah, be careful. Looks like I'm... Oh, a list, a pack. Jewels, dresses, book of prayers that Sister Sabri gave me. Wine, leave the ones for- yay, a mother's grand old car, moir. A standing mirror, will this fit in the cart? I worry, ropes for lashing down? Everything in the toy chest, we have to keep the children quiet on the journey somehow, we'll find a way to make it fit. Ah, uh, we've all been there. Oh hell, um... Oh lovely, fucking tiny children. A blood-soaked teddy bear I can later sell. How bloody grim. At least there's a nice doggy over there. I hear ya. Go whisper in my pack. How that isn't driving me crazy by now, I have no idea. I am overdue for a, a bit of a visit over there, and I... What's this? Oh, fuck, it's up there. Oh, well. I wouldn't be able to get to there from that angle anyway. Where am I? Where's this? I'm not going in the right direction. But there are shards around here. Right, how do I get up there? One thing at a time. I spy a hill lick. Maybe. <laughs> Climb. What the hell was that? Oh, what the fuck? You are meant to be contritely not being infested by undead anymore. Where were you on that one? What the fuck? All the bloody demons. That's a rage demon you just tried to set on fire. Good job. Is that a phoenix fox I happen to be? No, okay. It's a wraith. Well, perhaps now that they can't infest these undead bodies, they are resorting instead to just being demons. Like they usually are. Alright, hill. Ah, balls to it. I don't think there was anything there anyway. Up here. Joe, you know, this place has kind of that forbidden oasis quality where it's like the primary sound is the wind. That's making it a little weird to be commentating over because I kind of feel like I'm interrupting an atmospheric moment. Fuck. Can I use this? No, alright, we're heading on a long way. We'll get there. And then we'll end this episode on a good note. Whoop, whoop. And what? Okay. Ah, oh, come on. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Must be such a fucking barrier. I right, make this jump. Whoop. Good job. 
And over here. Up here. Should be okay. It'll be some fantastical secret up here too. I can take advantage on. Come on, it's green, you can walk on it. No, I'm I'm like just short. Oh! Ah! This must be made for riveting viewing. Fucking, 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 sinking, fucking balls. I'm so tempted to fade step because that's how I'm used to kind of getting around here. Can I go this way? This looks kind of significantly smoother. Though, perhaps not heading me in the right direction. No, I'm going miles out of my way for no reason. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, fuck. Marcus, if you slide down one more cliff face once more, Cassandra's leading the Inquisition from now on. Okay, we're close. God damn it. It's here, right? Son of a bitch! Alright, you know what? We're not gonna go that way because we are. We need to focus down and decide where we're going. We've got shards down there, which is great. Um, but maybe we head that way once we do Solus's thing. We've got farmer's guidance there as well, which we do not need in which we do not need active. Um Let's go up there, we'll grab Vivian's thing, and we'll just extend this episode a bit longer to make up for that shard nonsense. Oh, for fuck's sake. Learn to defend your base, because sometimes I'm not here. Where'd he go? Oh okay, cool. Ah, hell. Where are they coming from? Just walking up the road. Singing a jaunty tune. Alright, where is it? It's over here. Wait, hang on. If it was the first enchanter? Oh, what's this then? That's oh, a shard. Well, we might as well get it on the way. Happy days. You're a fast little guy, Cole. Do you wish you were faster, the Iron Bull? Nah. Just as soon stand there and let them come to me when they're ready to die. <laughs> then it's them, not you. You don't want to kill. You want to defend. Hey, don't go around saying crap like that. <laughs> I like killing. But you give them a chance. You make them choose. So it's their fault. Just... <sighs> Come on, kid. You're making it weird. <laughs> that ain't that weird. Some people pride themselves on never killing unless they have to. Nice for getting banter. Some people were commenting that, uh my recent excavation into the western approach. Hey, guys. Yeah, it is Hala. Cool. That uh, recent venture into the western approach was severely under-bantered. Man, seeing wild Hala about is just really cool. Ah, unlock the final door of a spirit calm. I'm one shard away from doing that. That's awesome. All right, we're gonna go right in the mountain. <laughs> Obsidian, sweet. There's a burned out house. And over there, Fremen? Fremen, that's gonna be a thing. <laughs> Marcus has indeed read Dune. Hmm. Okay. What about you this? Oh, I guess there was nothing there, okay. So, Mikey boy, young Sonny Jim fella me lad. I better barrier myself before I fucking die. And I'll nip in here and stand right here. And then, pop, there we go. Everybody gets to die. I'm competent. Oh, hello. We good? Who's this? Oh, it's just a... Oh, Jocelyn. I don't trust that Gordian fellow. He talks as though he's a Elysian, but I know he's not. I can hear it in his speech. Sorry if you guys can have trouble hearing me. There's a lot of background noise. 
Tell me you hear it too. I wonder what he's doing on that rise. He's forbidden us from going there, but I might take a look at a couple of nights. Let me know if you want in. Please make sure you're listening directly into the headphones as there may be some slight turbulence. Have you heard anything from the Emerald Graves? They say Dumain's gone there to lead the Freeman. Dumain! I said it's Dumain! No! Not Demath! Damn! Well, I miss him. He was a good commander. A bastard, but very fair. It's Gus! Gus! <laughs> well, at least that make me laugh. Anyway, there's another ocularium up there, on top of which, cha-ching! Don't you have friends in strange places? Hello, miss. Well, that's embarrassing. Um, right, okay, well. These Freeman statues notwithstanding. That's us for now. Uh, for this today's episode. Bit of a farm here, man. This whole place has gone to absolute shit. Uh, in the next episode, I think I might get up there whilst I'm, whilst I'm kind of around the area. Head back to camp, trade in Vivian for a younger model, and uh, then head off and do more of this uh, land's primary quest. So yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, folks, and I will see you then.